Hey YouTube, this is another video from PS3 Crucial Source. I've been getting some reports in the comments on my other video on how to jailbreak that some users were not understanding how to under in install the SNES emulator. As you can see, what I have installed right now is Open Manager, Multiman, and Blackbox FTP. All of those can be downloaded in the description. Yes, this is my actual voice, so no one needs to complain about it being annoying. Um, in the description as well, there's a download for SNES. Alright. This is, as you can see, for GeoHot 3.55 custom firmware. What you're going to do is take that PKG file you downloaded, and you're going to copy it to your... USB drive. All right. This is my USB drive right here. All right. So I click on it. And as soon as I clicked on it, there goes the SNES. It's on there. I'm going to plug it out. All right. Plug it into my PS3. As you can see, it's in there. My PS3 is jailbroken, so when I go up, I will see install package files. I'm going to click there. There it goes right there. SNES PS3 4.4.3 GeoHots Custom Firmware 3.55. Click. Install complete. As you can see, the SNES has been installed. Now you may wonder, how do I install ROMs? I'll show you. You plug it back out. Plug it into your computer. What I plugged out was my USB drive, if you were wondering. Okay. I'm going to go back to my USB drive. I don't need this anymore because I installed it to my PS3, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, and you know, if you want to create a ROMs folder on the USB, go ahead and do so. Okay, ROMs. All right, now what I have here is a downloaded SNES ROM Super Mario All-Stars okay dot SMC this means it's for Super Nintendo I downloaded this to show y'all that you know all you have to do is just take an SNES file okay copy it to your flash drive as you can see this was the ROMs folder I created on my USB drive if I go back, there it goes. ROM, Super Mario. Plug it back out. And I'm going to put it back in my PS3. As you can see, it's in. So I'm going to load SNES. Alright, load it up. Now I have to browse for my files. I'm going to go down to USB, which is this right here. Click. There goes the ROMs folder I created. And there goes the Super Mario file that I copied in that folder. I click on it. It's going to show something right here. And there you go. Alright, as you can see, it works perfectly with the navigations. There's nothing wrong. Everything is right. Click X, I'm going to just load this up. Alright, so I can file. And there you have it Super Mario World. Now let's
just give a little play right here. Show y'all it all works good. If there's any more questions, make sure you guys ask me in the comment box. I'll try my best to answer it. And if there's something else, I'll just upload a video. Alright. So there we go. If I remember correctly, this is Yoshi in here. Nope, this one. Up. Nah. Wait, right here. Alright, Yoshi says thank you for rescuing me. And I'm saying you're welcome for uploading this video. I hope this helped you all. Remember, is there any questions? Make sure you to post it in the box. Thank you.